सुखायु कर्मा करोति लोको नई सुखम बान्यादुपरम बिंदे तो भूयस्तत दुखम जदत्रजुक्त भगवान् बदन्यो सुखायु कर्मा करोति लोको नई सुखम बान्यापरम बिंदे तो भूय स्तत दुखम जदात्रजुक्त भगवान बदन्य गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परम जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट आवर लाइफ इन आवर लाइफ इन दिस लाइफ लॉट ऑफ हैप्पीनेस एंड डिस्ट्रेस वी हैव टू फेस इन आवर लाइफ and this is all actually bhagavad gita we just need to accept that in our life and we just need to accept and we have to satisfy in that only it is very much important because in this life lot of uh, kind of distress will come on sorrow will come in our life and all kind of distress and sorrow whatever kind of sorrow and distress you will get in your life you will get in your life actually it's everything Actually, all the mercy and kripa of Bhagwan, we just need to satisfy ourselves by just uh, taking that. The actual thing is that Prabhupada always used to speak that aksha ja and adoksha ja. These two words are there. This adoksha ja and aksha ja. In these two words. all kind of problems are there the people are having that all problems whatever people are there whatever all people are there they are having this kind of problem in understanding this point what is adoksha object and what is aksha aksha object they can't understand that at all what is the difference between them adoksha was to just by worshiping that only that you can get out of the material bondage totally material bondage can get uh, vanquished ek by say without serving adoksha vastu object that material bondage cannot get destroyed at all it will not at all vanquished aksha vastu means of which is actually temporary which is going to destroy which is for a certain period of time the all these objects it is these are all dis- destructible in nature and just by serving all these objects it means that by serving maya devi that uh, material bondage will definitely be increasing definitely you will not get out of the material bondage no pathway is open to get out of the material bondage at all adoksha jo vastu that is advitya adoksha jo object if you will uh, shri rajiv goswami pad is actually giving detailed uh, details uh, details of this in uh, sandarbhas aksha jo means that this material world whatever kind of power money power education power when you are actually putting it on one side which tat which is not at all you are unable to understand that tatva and that same tatva which will definitely manifest himself his own own manifestation it will glorify and it will just manifest it is already there manifested uh on its own and no kind of external power can just uh, move that swarat absolute power that swarat vastu the topmost object and whatever kind of money power man power educational and material efforts what we are putting of this material world whatever money power intelligence power education power which we are putting on to to know that absolute truth that is unable we are unable to Uh, understand that that parat par akhileshwar adhoksha jo vastu that it's just gonna kick us kick our all efforts and all the time his glorification is self manifested that is called adhoksha jo vastu adhoksha jo vastu is actually uh, is all the time present in a self manifested form and this uh, aprakrit adhoksha jo vastu just to do the seva of this 
absolute truth the whole material bondage of our material bondage will definitely gonna destroy completely mukti is not the topmost thing which we want to attain in our life in just to get out of this material bondage you are getting mukti what do you mean by mukti mukti is not the actual ultimate goal of our life mukti in the material world that mukti means that we will be getting out of some kind of material uh, problems this is not at all mukti but in the gaudiya samaj the siddhant in that it is written that in the gaudiya gaudiya vichar siddhant of mukti the actual definition of mukti according to gaudiya vichar is that it means that jeevas in their own swarup they are just to get manifest in that that is called actually mukti what is their actual swarup the uh, what is the actual swarup of swarup swarup of the jeevas jeeva swarup of krishna nitidas it means that to do bhagavat seva that is the actual service of the jeevas and in order to manifest himself in that role that is actually mukti but those mayavadis and other sampradays different different uh, just having that mukti mukti they depend on that having confidence on that they think that whatever kind of after so much problems we are getting after taking birth in order to get rid of that that is called mukti that is not at all the actual definition just to just get out of the problems of the material things you will you can get up to the platform of nirvishesh brahma that just to get out of this material happiness or uh, sorrow just to get out of the maya out of the three modes of material nature when you are getting out of that that is called mukti after getting out of that three gun modes of material nature what is your actual role after that it means there is some kind of uh, uh, we are actually getting mukti okay they are thinking that uh, in this material world whatever kind of happiness or sorrow you are getting that just to get out of that that is called mukti but after that what you will do that's the main question propa speaking okay that after that what you will do what your actual decision is that mukti is actually mayavadis this is actually nirvishesh mukti nothing you just need to do you just need to stay in that uh, static stationary position that's it that mukti this kind of mukti is of no use at all this is actually a very far distant thing dham arth kaam moksh this four kind of purusharth jo lagate hain purusharth that four kind of purusharth dharma arth kaam moksh these four purusharths in this moksh also is very much rare to get because people don't uh, go up till that level dharma arth kaam up till this dharma also they are actually not at all believing 100% we are actually just following normal dharma which is actually normal dharma, but they are not at all uh, but the bhagavad dharma nobody knows about that sometimes of normal dharma they are doing so that they can go up till heaven and they can get a lot of money and this that that's it this is their actual goal of their life so dharma arth kaam they want this kaam is so much dirty kaam they are actually want to enjoy that kama that what to speak when raman kam karun when it was there in their era at that time that kaam was definitely was there but at that time the lust and the kaam in order to enjoy that there is one kind of procedure but now they are actually just going down below cats and dogs degradation of humanity you can see that ravan kumbhakaran at the time of uh, at uh, that era and jarasand era also they know how to do enjoyment there is some kind of procedure to do enjoy- enjoyment but now a days they are actually going more down than cats and dogs so much bad uh, kind of enjoyment they want to do so dharm arth kaam now the target is like that dharm you just need to live what do you <laughs> dharm what we can do of dharm at all nothing is required arth and kaam they want they are actually going towards ka- arth and kaam kaam means lust they are just uh, going towards that only and everything is finished now now here this is a definitely uh, fixed point the topmost point why actually uh, human beings are doing so much efforts and do so much work so much education they are doing what why for what purpose they are doing there is only one target behind that in order to get the topmost happiness in their life that's why 
and in order to not to take any kind of sorrow in their life at all but if their luck is very bad then when they will be doing that definitely they haven't got happiness in return they are getting a sorrow in their life distress in their life what is actually there in your return in your luck in your destiny by your own efforts and purushakar you won't you can just uh, make efforts but you get the results of what it actually written there in your destiny prarad maharaj actually speaking to his asur friends that in each and every birth this vishay of happiness and sorrow all the time it you will get of this material happiness you will get in each and every birth oh my friends this kind of happiness material happiness you will get in every each and every birth there is actually no it is all the time going from infinity period it is going that's why if you prahlad maharaj is speaking if you if you are all together doing hari bhajan that is the actual uh, top that is the actual platform for you so like this prahlad maharaj is speaking to his asur friends in a, in the school party he is actually speaking to all of his friends asur asura friends and this shloka karmani karo ti loko na to hi sukham banya do paramam ba binde to huyas to to ye duksham sukh milne ke liye in order to get uh, they have just done efforts to get uh, happiness in their life but in reverse they are getting uh, distress so definitely it will gonna happen why this because this is actually sansar sagar this is actually material ocean in the life of panch pandav also you can see that they have got only distress and distress that's it only sorrow that now the actual question coming that on to the side of that bhishma pitama also in that one of the 12 dwadash mahajans he is the actual major personality of the out of the 12 mahajans he is also speaking that 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 in that party it means that yudhishthir maharaj uh, on the party of the yudhishthir maharaj swam krishna swam but krishna is bhagwan is there how they can get uh, distress at all in their life this is actually out of my mind this is in order to just uh, build up our actual consciousness it is actually done because this kind of vichar is there inside our heart that thakur ji actually supplier is the actual supplier krishna is actual supplier whatever we required so whatever you are required if the supply is uh, off then uh, what will be the case so that's why its continuous supply is given by krishna only and only the jagdish is hare when we are getting material happiness they don't want to even spend 5 paisa also if they are actually getting a lot of uh, material uh, money and their heart is getting out of that uh, sorrow of not getting money then only jay jagadish are otherwise no jay jagadish at all <laughs> this is our form what to do we are actually thinking this that krishna is my supplier of everything why actually we i am worshiping krishna i haven't uh, given anything if he will not give anything to me then why to worship because all uh, people are actually businessmen this kind of shudra bhav for bhagwan this is not at all good at all it's all actually inside the heart of different different kind of vichars people are having inside their heart because they are all businessmen our krishna with our krishna with krishna we don't have any kind of relationship he has our dry philosophy and those panch pandavas also and those panch pandavas they are actually not at all normal human being at all they are actually the eternal pashad of bhagwan shri krishna and uh, they are actually uh, bhagwan krishna actually taking uh, them and just giving us an example that you see just in order to teach each and every one that you see that at that place that i am swam shri krishna is the actual support that how they can get so much uh, distress in their life it is very much uh, difficult to see all this and we can't believe that at all it is not at all surprising the thing which prabhupada already spoke speaking that our whole life if some kind of happiness and distress is coming then we just need to uh, take the kripa of bhagwan krishna definitely you have to take that as the kripa of krishna that is actual kripa you just need to take that as like the kripa only 
somewhere sometimes directly and sometimes indirectly that kripa is coming in the form of happiness or sometimes in the form of sorrow and you are actually speaking bhavana as rasyamay in order to taste that madhurya you are actually running for that so how if that rasya vishya of krishna is actually okay then the whole akar of krishna is actually the rasa akar then if one portion is actually bitter and one portion is spicy and one portion is uh, sweet it's no it should be like that no not at all that uh, if one kind of uh, gulab jamun is one portion is uh, uh, sweet and other portion is bitter and other portion is sour it can't be possible that bhagwan is rasmay definitely it means that all the kind of rasa is there in krishna that uh, in the vedanta also it is written that he is rasa vishya nishchatame but definitely he is ras full of ras but i don't know what kind of ras ras i will get from where so that's why all opposite and reverse is going on going on in the life of panch pandav whatever actually it should not be done krishna is actually on their side so how it is possible that this kind of uh, wrong things can done in their life so krishna actually in order to show that how their devotees are that he has just developed krishna has developed one platform for all others that in the life of kunti also they are actually kunti devi just getting distress all the time he she is getting distress and sorrow no happiness at all and at last when uh, they have getting uh, anukul parivesh in their life then kunti devi actually speaking that you give me more and more sorrow are krishna speaking why that all problem is solved now and now i will be going now so no no now kunti devi speaking actual problem will start that you are going away the actual problem now is will actually start actually it will start now what you want to speak that now actually you will uh, just be going away from us and all the time you are actually coming here and we are actually delivering us and just giving your darshan but now you are just uh, just like uh, you are just like a toy or a doll show you are just uh, 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 we are just dancing on your uh, dancing on your instructions that kunti devi speaking that i need more and more sorrow in my life and distress are who actually will ask distress and sorrow in their life but kunti devi asking to from bhagwan shri krishna so in the life of panch pandav also so much kind of distress just after seeing that that what this kind of arrangement what from the from the starting of their life when the uh, father is actually gone away so much kind of uh, 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 problems that uh, sometime uh, they the pandavas have gone after getting so much problems in their life panch pandavas their uh, uh, mind and intelligence is stable because they are actually all the time thinking of bhagavat charan that those which are whose which are just by on to the lotus feet of krishna there is all the time stable stabilized and fixed definitely their mind is actually fixed so you see the case of vidur ji maharaj so much uh, disrespect he has got from uh, dhritarashtra but this is actual kripa of krishna he is thinking but this is actually very much in order to realize that it is very much difficult to understand in realization so now what is the actual situation this kurukshetra uh, fighting this is the actual starting of that yesterday i have already told a lot of things to you and uh, in that all these five uh, things i have already discussed in front of you and uh, ईश्वर इज सर्वज्ञ एंड इज जीव इज कल्पज्ञ सतो रजो तमो दिस्ती गुण आधार दैट इज जस्ट वन काइंड ऑफ मैटर दिस इज ऑल मटीरियल विशेष त्रिगुण वर्जित काल इज ऑल्सो मैटर द टाइम इज ऑल्सो मैटर वाई बिकॉज इन अपराकृत जगत दैट देट there is no touch of uh, this uh, material time at all in the transcendental world in the transcendental world that kind of material time that material time factor what we can see there is no touch at all in the transcendental world at all jeevas actually jeev prakriti kal karm they are all actually under bhagwan only jeev is actually under bhagwan prakriti is under bhagwan time is also under bhagwan only and karm also which we call that uh, the actual destiny of jeevas which we are speaking the luck 
of the particular jiva that jiva's karma that is also that karma is also against anadi karma bale pari havar navajale nadekhi tori bare nadekhi upay that karma is from infinity time what actually the starting of the karma inside the life of jivas it is actually actually having no starting and beginning but it means definitely it is going to get destroyed but still there is a actual destruction of karma it is possible this is not a, a impossible task just by getting the association of pure guru vishnu just by getting the association of pure guru vishnu how it is done that uh, just by getting the association of pure guru vishnu then the actual destruction of karm definitely it is going to done it is going to be done why because karm is actually material matter and jivas is in order to get his chinmay swarup inside his heart after getting that his chinmay swarup definitely he will get out of this matter this cycle of karm then he will be thinking that jivas will be thinking that in order to serve bhagwan that is my actual swarup then there is no happiness and sorrow no kind of connection is there with this happen kind of temporary happiness and sorrow which i am feeling in bhagavat also it is written that which in my atma what is the actual relationship of uh, happiness and sorrow but still jivas are crying what is the reason the actual reason very surprising to see he is actually crying for all this why because it is actually getting uh, overshadowed by maya and in bhagavad gita mahapurana also there is one example regarding this like one tree that uh, at in front of a very uh, in one of a very uh, ocean there is one kind of tree of uh, coconut tree is there beneath the water and there is one kind of air blown from there and it the uh, it started shaking and what happens that the person who is actually seeing towards the water he will see that what he will see that this tree it is also actually just uh, moving with the air this same example i am actually giving here that the actual what kind of tree and at the support of that uh, ocean if uh, that uh, it is not at all possible that it will uh, the coconut tree will uh, move but by the actual force of the air that uh, by the actual moving of current of the water this kind of water which is actually waving is with the help of air that the trees which are which is which is outside at the support of that ocean it also act, it looks like that it is also waving and moving but in actual it is not at all like that so bhagwa the jivas are actually having no connection with this kind of material happiness and sorrow but still actually he is enjoying that yesterday i have just already told but still the the jivas are actually in great uh, sorrow and it is great great tension and sometimes he is happy sometimes he is in sorrow so what is the this is the actual thing for the jivas in padma puran also this actually uh, this is one top most point is written there that in shrimad that shrimad bhagavad gita that uh, we just need to read it very carefully under the anugatya of pure guru vishnu that is the actual point otherwise alone if you will do nothing will happen at all and the second other shastra they are not at all required to read because all the shastra with full sharanagati it will go you will go up till that point and when you will go up till sharanagati when you will get completely sharanagat on to lotus feet of bhagwan then there is nothing left that will not at all understandable for you just after getting that onto that pathway there is nothing required inside our heart for top top most satisfaction we'll get that is very much important to understand very very important to understand so this is actually written in padma puran this is actually this one point is there of like this and and this uh, material uh, happiness and uh, material money it is actually related with our material mind and intelligence and we don't have any news regarding atma whether it is there or not we don't know at all but 
everyone is actually just like uh, nastik which are not at all believing god just like that they are going in that their vichar these people have this kind of vichar when the when up till that point you will be living that uh, just sleep eat sleep and drink that's it and sleep that is our actual motive of our life this is not at all the actual motive or uh, you just uh, take a rent from someone money and after that you can take ghee and lot of food stuffs and uh, because this life is for once and you just need to enjoy that completely this is actually the philosophy of charbak this is actually total nastik vichar non believer of bhagwan and that yagyabal ka ji when after leaving sansar material sansar and he is actually on the way of uh, nenankeshan her two wives her two wives jagyabal ka ji he is actually speaking that you can take all this kind of uh, material uh, sampatti or treasure i have i am actually giving it and and uh, uh, giving it in your hands and you j- can just take it in your hands and you can just uh, uh, take this responsibility from my hands and you can just divide it and uh, among yourself and i am actually going away and he is actually asking a permission from her wives and the two of both the wives both the wives of yagyavalka actually is they are actually asking question to yagyavalka that this kind of uh, treasure what you are giving to us in this uh, we can get the topmost uh, absolute truth in that we will get that by this kind of treasure that yagyavalka ji actually speaking he is actually getting surprised and speaking that no not at all that by this treasure that per topmost absolute truth that kind of topmost nectar full of nectar bhagwan that you cannot it is not at all possible to get bhagwan like that that what kind of treasure you are giving us by speaking that by this treasure that kind of aprakrit absolute truth that nectar we can get so the wife yagyawal ka ji actually speaking no not at all by this only that kind of topmost treasure you cannot get the transcendental treasure you cannot get at all actually then the wives of the when we will not be getting the absolute treasure then why we will actually taking this kind of uh, material treasure in our life by that that by getting that treasure we cannot get that treasure of absolute truth then what we can do of that treasure which is uh, useless and what we can get out of that treasure we cannot do anything out of that arjun in front of arjun there is a big problem in front of arjun and in the battlefield our the battle is going to start and uh, shank everything all kind of different different sounds are blowing from the conch shells already it is uh, conch shells were blown and in that in between that only at that time arjun actually just uh, taking the chariot in between the uh, battlefield and there is a big problem came in uh, the mind of arjun he is feeling lot of problem and he is thinking that i will i won't able to do uh, war i can't fight with my own friends brother mother father brother in law all this i cannot fight with them at all how i can fight with them that this kind of treasure material treasure all kind of property material treasure which we are getting that shloka i have already told you just just by that if uh, it is not at all there that this material body what it is of use that this body is of no use who will actually love whom if atma is actually loving atma then there is actually no role of this material attachment at all that material body attachment is not at all there if atma loves atma atma is there then everything value is there if atma is not at all there then what it is of use nothing is there without atma if atma is not there then nothing is there 
all kind of fighting this is my this this is your this doership bhav that i will see all these kind of thing atma is there that's why it's all going on if atma is not at all there then he'll get detested that whole material world what kind of things are there of this material world yesterday i was just speaking lot of material uh, more lot of treasure money is there but still diamonds diamond jewelry have that kind of value when atma is there if only for atma the valuation is there of this that mother uh, because of atma she is actually loving her daughter if atma is there then only it is possible then husband is actually loving her wife and wife loving her husband if atma is there then gold has some so kind of evaluation and so much economy you are seeing it is just because of atma this jewelry and uh, diamonds are so much expensive it's because atma is there then only it is of value if atma is not there then what value it is of nothing so only for atma that everything is actually having some value if atma is gone then nothing is there it's valueless so this point you just need to understand first and that arjun that uh, bhagwan is actually becoming sarthi of arjun by just uh, driving his chariot his name is rishikesh rishikesh what do you mean by rishikesh that who is the actual uh, master of and controller of all the material sense organs all the sense organs he is the actual master and controller this is that is called uh, rishikesh all kinds of uh, controlling and the mastership is there in the hands of krishna only and krishna only and only he is actually is not at all the chari- chari- uh, not driving chariot of arjun that for infinity jeevas that all our life what it is there it is that krishna is all the time sitting in the heart of everyone and he is also the same our body is just like a chariot and krishna is the actual path sarthi and he is actually running our chariot and is giving the guidance to the chariot what we are speaking prachodayat in the morning actually we are praying to krishna that oh krishna you just guide us in a very correct pathway if this kind of prayer we are actually giving then it is very good who actually want to see whether someone is doing gani or not diksha they have taken they are not at all doing brahm gayatri so what this is the actual thing if someone actually speaking that aane uh, is important are foolish number 1 aane <laughs> is definitely important what kind of uh, foolish question is asking whether it's uh, regularly we have to do anik are we, whether everything is important so this kind of vichar actually is coming what to speak are maharaj yes we will also do every everyone will do bhajan whole uh, whole uh, we are only actually foolish number 1 ha <laughs> just i am actually speaking foolish siddhant that's it everyone is good so who is the actual adhikari of this gita who is eligible to get that actual gyan of gita that actual transcendental knowledge of gita who is the actual eligibility the actual example given here that shraddhalu who is having that shraddha inside his heart means that in shastra vachan guru vaishnav he has top most confidence and he is full confidence and in sadharma nishta means that who is according to his own adhikar he actually getting uh, do his own karma is doing according to his uh, shastras so this is the actual uh, if he is sansari also still no problem it's not like that if he is material that only material jeevas are more uh, jitendriya that in this material uh, material persons having so exact application of this jitendriya bhav that in for krishna seva that you cannot even imagine that so like this this adhikari the actual uh, uh, actual decision of the adhikari vyakti that in this material in this battlefield also of the kurukshetra that uh, arjun uh, krishna is the actual chariot is uh, uh, riding the chariot of arjun and arjun his heart has just got disturbed and got shocked just by seeing the situation current situation on the battlefield and in order to just stabilize that krishna is <coughs> started speaking gita pravachan in front of arjun and arjun then arjun is in big problem what to do what not to do he is not at all getting stability of his mind what is good to do and what not to do he doesn't he don't know at all arjun so he is actually in a big problem and krishna and the actual situation of uh, arjun sena vinas strategy 
that strategy what kind of in order after taking the darshan of that full strategic strategy of the arjun he actually speaking to arjun inside his heart topmost fire of fire just get ignited and he is become fearful are oh my god so much fire is ignited inside my heart i can't even imagine what what i have to do and his body is just burning and his gandiv he is a bow and arrow gandiv he cannot is slipping from his hands it is not at all possible to stabilize his gandiv as well from his hand it's slipping from his hand and his mind and his head is just rounding roaming around that's it and now inside arjun that kind of virash should be there but now it is getting converted into it looks like that is is one kind of shocking and he is just uh, no kind of power is there inside arjun whole uh, he is full of fear and no confidence is there inside arjun and he is such a uh, brave uh, fighter but he has just uh, uh, everything is getting removed from his mind he is blank totally blank and he is speaking pravachan that i don't need any kind of kingship and no kind of uh, uh no enjoyment i need for my sensual enjoyment and i don't have any kind of uh, desire to live also are what happened even i don't want to live also why what happened krishna speaking why this kind of thing is actually coming that i this is for all these people actually my life is there all my mother father they are all my relatives they, this all actually sampatti and treasure what is the value if they will all get killed what i will do if they will get killed just uh, he actually the power of speech also he lost at that time and in this situation and in this situation just by seeing the actual problem that krishna now he is actually started speaking uh, his pravachan and he he previously that uh, previous shloka this shloka this vichar if you will make then you can understand and the actual pravachan of krishna what is going to start what krishna used to start that previous shloka the actual background is going on that background is going on that vyasdev goswami pad that is speaking to dhritarashtra uh, and uh, his association that gavalg muni he is the actual uh, gavalg muni san sanjay is speaking what actually is speaking because sanjay is the actual son of gaval garishi and he is so much powerful and dhritarashtra ji ko and he is speaking to dhritarashtra vyasdev vyapan ved vyas he is actually speaking that uh, he is speaking to dhritarashtra speaking that i am actually blind okay i'll give you eyes whatever will be going on the Uh, battlefield you can see i will give you the transcendent lies you can see that on the battlefield what is going on oh no 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 he is speaking that uh, nothing is uh, whatever kind of battlefield and all kind of cutting uh, of the soldiers i can't see so such a situation you do in that that i can just hear only uh, retaliation only relay can be there that what is actually going on on the battlefield i can just get the relay of that i can just get the information that only i want the trust is speaking so our ved vyas ji maharaj speaking sanjay is sanjay that he is the son of gaval varishi he is giving the actual uh, vardan that whatever is going to uh, going to have on the battlefield you can see it and after seeing that uh, you can see your uh, dhritarashtra ji you can just uh, start it start speaking to him what is actually going on on the battlefield can the okay i will do that and in that the first thing that is actually topmost magic this just uh, care, be careful on that that dhritarashtra watch or dhritarashtra actually speaking that ghan धर्म क्षेत्र 
this is dharmaketra that war is going to start this is dharmaketra yes it is dharmaketra only the actually very old story is there regarding this that why it is dharmaketra why it is called dharmaketra that that is the actual unique point of this kurukshetra it is actually used here in the kurukshetra war this kurukshetra this uh, place in relation to this place in the Mahara, mahabharat sthalya parva it is written there something like that guru raj that uh, who is the actual uh, adi purush of guru or uh, of guru vansh he has just uh, uh, manifested this place karshan means he karshan means he has manifested that that's why on the place on that place that uh, name is called kurukshetra he has just manifested this place that is that's why it is called kurukshetra now actually question coming that uh, uh, the king is actually foolish why actually he is getting manifested that is very in deep uh, me- deep meaning is there that king knows the actual uh, 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 king knows the glorification of that place just by manifesting that uh, place uh, indra raj actually speaking are raja what you are doing <laughs> he just smiling and laughing at him and just by manifesting that place the kuru that devraj indra why actually are manifesting this place ha huh? what is the reason that uh, indra started laughing and speaking to him then kuru raj speaking that you see purandar that uh, all these people in this khetra they will be just uh, uh, putting their life off definitely they will be going into heaven after leaving their body swargaraj swargaraj indra is just started laughing and speaking are what you are speaking how it is possible it is a very straight point no not at all you are speaking it will be done no not like that in this khetra those who will be just leaving their body they will be going to heaven devraj actually started laughing and after laughing he is actually gone away okay let him do all rubbish things what i can do kuru raj actually on the laughing of indra he is not at all paying any attention on to the laughing of indra and he is not at all getting distressed what what indra has done and uh, just uh, he, with his very uh, peaceful and fixed mind he, he is actually doing all that uh, manifesting that place and again that indra maharaj came are after uh, uh, coming there indra maharaj again and again just is coming in front of kuru raj and uh, after that when he was going back and he can't understand what uh, some target must be there of kuru raj that mahipati means kuru raj not at all he is not at all paying any attention he is actually doing his work with full, full fixed and peaceful mind and whatever he wants to do he can do and at last devraj has seen that kuru raj is not a normal person he has done doing so much of hardship to manifest that place and at last he has just speaking to kuru raj that you are doing so much uh, uh, manifesting this place by so much hardships and you are doing so much hardship to build this place but you don't need to do such kind of things here at all that person who is actually without any rest rest resting mood and with full efforts he is uh, doing with full fixed and peaceful mind his work those people who will be just uh, uh, leaving their body on this particular place i am giving you this kind of uh, vardan that uh, benediction i am giving that whosoever will be killed on that but on this place or someone by killed by someone here on this uh, particular place then any how he will be going to heaven this is my actual vardan this is my actual benediction to you guru raj then in the ban parv of maharaj or mahabharat that uh, bhishma dev is speaking that all kind of people in this uh, tirth on this tirth just by uh, touching this tirth he will be getting uh, free from all the sinful activities all the kind of uh, species or human beings any jeevas just by seeing this tirth he will be getting free from all the sinful activities and those people who are all the time speaking that i have to go kurukshetra i haven't seen kurukshetra definitely it's important to go kurukshetra so this kurukshetra vas karna that to just have stay in kurukshetra these people also they can also 
get free get rid of all the sinful activities and they can get the top most thing and even one dust particle of kurukshetra that even uh, a very sinful person also he can uh, elevate himself to the upper planet even one uh, dust particle of kurukshetra that who are dushkrit those are sinful they can get the parampad in their life that uh, in the northern direction there is saraswati in the southern direction that these dev dev nadis these both nadis in between the place of these two rivers it is actually brahmasaraswati is brahma nadis saraswati is there drishatpati in shrimad bhagavatam about the glorification of this uh, nadi it actually written there rivers in the fifth canto you can see glorification of the rivers and those people who are actually staying in that uh, uh in in uh, this region they will be going to in manu samita also according to manu samita this uh, brahmavrat it is actually famous by brahmavrat and here that is this name is also kurukshetra now also you know that this samantak panchak that kurukshetra in the relation to kurukshetra in the upanishads also it is written that It means that this Samantak Panchak, this Kurukshetra, in the relation to Kurukshetra, in the Jabal Upanishad it is written that this, uh, this Satapath, in Satapath Brahman also it is written. This Dev Yajan uh, place, this Kurukshetra is a Dev Yajan place. That's why his name is Kurukshetra Dev Yajanam Khetra. Kuru Raj, what has manifested this place by full hardship and efforts? That's why it is called Kurukshetra. That that kind of uh, topmost teeth which are present in this Kurukshetra, it is very much. These are not at all normal teeth. Kurukshetra is Dharma Khetra. That word Dharm by speaking Dharma Khetra means. that dharma karta means that where that uh, the dharma is uh, getting obeyed all the time it means the yag yagya etc all actually are going on and and those that your varnashram dharma this on this uh, in india the application we can see that very easily in this uh, india that dharma getra and uh, inside that kurukshetra also we can understand that dharm dharma getra kurukshetra means that that is only uh, dharma getra inside india you cannot uh, un- it is in inside bharat only india that kurukshetra that is dharma getra that is the actual meaning so in this uh, kurukshetra that very famous teeth and and samantak panchak you know that that our parshuram ji that the jamadagni son of jamadagni parshuram rishi he is actually uh, just going to stop the actual uh, hellish conditions uh, done by kshatriyas and in order to stop those kshatriyas he has just wo- the whole material earth trisapt means 21 times he has just killed all the kshatriya kings that whole material world he is actually getting free from all the uh, kshatriya kings 21 times just by killing all the kshatriya kings and he has just made uh, one uh, uh, flow of stream or tributary from the blood of the 21 uh, from those kshat- killing those kshatriya kings where bhagwan shri krishna uh, just by taking the actual uh, uh, reason of surya prayag he is actually coming uh, with all his relatives uh, he is actually ca- came there to surya prayag and uh, at the time of surya Pra- at surya prayag so that that place is very much uh, topmost uh, pure that place is very much pure surya prayag so that's why bhagwan krishna coming with his relatives from dwarka there and here also at that place now that uh, uh, the war is going to start at that place the war is going to start and the actual question is very strange question is coming what why why strange question 
he is actually speaking in Srimad Bhagavad Gita in the first canto, first in the first adhyaya, in the first shloka. It is very much strange and very much shocking, very amazing shloka that Tritrashtra, what he is speaking, what kind of question he is putting. That this Dharmaketra Kurmaketra, that all kind of uh, those uh, Yodhas, Yodhas means that those who want to, all those soldiers who will be fighting, and Mamakaha means that all our Pandavas and all our Kauravas, that Pandavas Chaiva means that what they are doing, what they are doing, Sanjay, what they are doing now. What they are actually busy in doing. The first question is that in Kurukshetra you are speaking, that you himself you speaking, that Jujutsava, that they are actually came here for fighting. If they are came for fighting, definitely they will fight. No, what they will do? What do you mean by that? That just uh, senseless questions you are putting, hopeless. That just for fighting they will be, they are going for fighting. No, so definitely they will fight in the battlefield only. What they will do apart from that? Just by speaking this word Mamakaha means that uh, that blind Dhritarashtra who is actually so much selfish and greedy, he is so much selfish and greedy, so much uh, uh, selfish he is that by this word Mamakaha we can get that he is asking that uh, how that this uh, doership bhav that Mamakaha means that 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 what kind of uh, that Videsh bhav is there for Pandavas. That jealousy bhav for Pandavas, definitely they are also your sons. They are actually the your small sons. Just by uh, you have nourished them, but you haven't given them the nourishment, proper nourishment. So much jealousy you have for five Pandavas. And you have this kind of duty on you, but now you are actually speaking like this. Mamakaha, Pandavas Cheva. How you can speak like that? So by this word Mamakaha means that they have so much sne on the Kauravas, Duryodhan and all. And Pandavas Cheva means that Dvijabhav, that sec, that very jealous, jealousy mood is there for Pandavas. That there is actually uh, a lack of Mamta inside his heart. Okay, he's there, no worries. So like, this is actually clear from this point. And this Sanche, this uh, question, that what they are doing in the Kurukshetra Yudh, so on, uh, regarding this question, the actual uh, in-depth analysis is there. That uh, blind Dhritarashtra, definitely he is blind. But uh, it is not like that he is not Jnani. Definitely if he is Jnani, that some sne is there on the part of Kauravas. That's why and uh, having some jealousy mood towards Pandavas. But because he has that uh, Vichar Buddhi is not at all working. Because his sne is there towards Kauravas, towards his sons. And here, now that our my son and all those Pandavas, their sons also, they have just came onto the battlefield to fight. What they are doing? It means, what does it mean? It means that just by making this vichar, sometimes that because of the actual prabhav or the sthan means the actual uh, prabhav of the place, it is very much, very much valuable. Like, that when you will go to Badri, Badri, Badri Nadji, you will be taking the going to Badri Narayan and go take and you are taking a, a bath in Alkanand after doing everything there you just need to stay there night time and after that inside your heart what kind of uh, what kind of sinful activities you will do even if you are a very bad person also still just by he, there is Narnarayan uh, mountain is there and one Alkananda is going between those two mountains Badrinna is so nice so nice uh, scenery and beautifulness beauty you can and realization you should get and there whatever kind of sinful activities you have or sinful person you are if you will be also start uh, started thinking that the, the the prabhav of the place is very important. So under blind Dhritarashtra thinking that maybe because of the prabhav of that particular place, Kurukshetra, that they are actually just uh, transforming their heart that what to do, maybe we can't fight. And what is the use of fighting? Maybe they have transformed their uh, heart just because of the prabhav of place and what to do, every, everywhere there will be blood and blood, so why we should fight? 
maybe his heart will get changed and they won't fight at all it may be like this so this is actually deep meaning of the shloka and another thing is there dhritarashtra also is actually fixed in this point that my all sons they are all adharmic definitely they are actually some snake is there dhritarashtra having for duryodhan and all his sons hundred sons but the actual uh, unique thing is that he has neyanand for his sons but he knows definitely that his all sons his duryodhan and all his sons are all adharmic they are all actually cheater they are actually following adharma and all the five pandavas they are actually dharmic they are on the pathway of dharma and the actual prabhav of place we cannot speak that just by taking the uh, uh, prabhav of that particular place where they are fighting in order to fight there maybe this is the actual work of hinsa and punch pandavas inside their heart actually some kind of doubt came are what to do or oh, let us go let, let we are actually we going to do what is vanvas only let them be king what to do why actually we will get killed by just uh, fighting and lot of uh, <coughs> loss can be done so just by the uh, actual prabhav of the place maybe all the five pandavas their heart will become very uh like very peaceful and they just like a sanyasi they will be going out for vanyas and may are they are getting peacefulness they will get top most peaceful and in that and they will be going away and without fighting our my whole son all my hundred sons will get the only already the trust is having that samrajya but still duryodhan is getting that right to be the king and maybe it will be like that all over my duryodhana sector all my sons in the just by the actual prabhav of dharma they may be getting dharmic because of the actual prabhav of that place or they become nishkapat and of what kind of some place some piece of land of his kingship he can give the donate to the um, pandavas and they will be just going or maybe like this it can happen so all kind of probabilities is going inside his mind and different different kind of vichar is going inside the heart of blind dhritarashtra and another vichar is there like in dhan khet in dhan khet means uh, paddy field in the in the paddy field so uh, some kind sometimes that uh, kusha grass uh, can grow there in the in the paddy field if this kind of uh, uh, herbs and bushes can come out then it is uh, just one kind of uh, very amazing and surprising thing for a farmer if he seeing that then he just need to put that out of the field and in between the field the farmer is going away in the field and he is just taking out all those useless bushes and herbs out of the field so that they can get proper nourishment uh, for the paddies in the paddy field so this which are also dhritarashtra inside his heart this actually has come inside his heart that kishab jaise nirmul karta hai utha utha ke like uh, the farmer is actually taking all those useless herbs and um, bushes out of the field just by the actual prabhav of the dharma field that all my um, all my boy all my sons are actually adharmic but the actual prabhav of the place uh, they ca- their adharmikta will get out just like the useless bushes and herbs they are already on that dharma khetra that my adharmic sons who are standing there those who are against dharm that they will just be they will be just getting transformed and into a dharmic person you cannot see that this is the actual vichar uh, of the shuddha saraswati onto his uh, mouth and whatever kind of dharm khetra kurukshetra desh jo sabha mama kaha pandavas chaivo kim kurvato sanjayo in this just by having the concentrating on that this kind of vichar is coming can come inside in front of us why because one shloka from different angles by from different angles by giving the vichar there are lot of things can come out of that and after that from the first shloka 
and after that sanjay actually is giving one answer to the question dhritarashtra vacha and now sanjay actually is giving answer to dhritarashtra drishtvatu pandava nikam bhulam durjodhanas tada acharyam upasangyam raja vachanam avabrit drishtvatu pandava nikam bhulam durjodhanas tada acharyam upasangyam no it means that Pandavas, what their strategy is, they, what the strategy they are actually going in order to just destroy the enemies. That it is that kind of research. Buddha means the strategy they are using in order to destroy the opposite enemy. That there is one kind of kaushal for a special technique they are applying in order to win. That those who have that more technique in order to win that battle, then definitely they can get victory over their enemy. This is not a normal thing that how you have to do war and what is the actual strategy, what is the actual technique regarding that, how we can go and how we can get victory in that particular war. So it's very much important before the war starts. It means that Duryodhan. That Sanjay is speaking to blind Dhritarashtra. He is actually speaking that you see now the five Pandavas that uh, the strategy what they are applying that in order to test that just by applying that strategy that, uh, that uh, inside the heart of Duryodhan. Uh, he has politics inside his heart or nothing else. He just that have the kind of black money and adharm politics. This is the actual life of Duryodhan because this is the actual Ansh of Kali Duryodhan is. So that's why this is his work, what to do. So in this, a lot of politics is uh, there. Why? Because he is actually... At that time, Duryodhan, just by seeing everything, he actually wants to go in front of Arjun. And he just wants to go in front of Acharya, Guru Dronacharya. And especially, with the very special mood and vichar of politics, he just went in front of the Acharya. That uh, Duryodhan just came in front of uh, Dronacharya and Bhishma Vidama. By just speaking this uh, uh, special vachan to Acharya, Duryodhan actually is king and with all his commanders in front of that commander Dronacharya, he, as if he is his guru, but still in front of guru it is very much impo- important to give respect to guru. And inside his heart a lot of politics is there, inside heart of Duryodhan, but still Duryodhan getting in front of Dronacharya and speaking to him. And started speaking to Guru Dronacharya. And just starting started speaking uh, to Dronacharya. And in that, one politics is there. That, that kind of uh, uh, patience. Or patience and all kind of Dhanurvidya what Dronacharya is having. That in front of Guru Dronacharya, Duryodhan just came. And just speaking... The, by just uh, with a lot of political mood, he is speaking in front of Guru, Dron, Guru Dronacharya. But he, as a king, with uh, he is a king which is having full political mood. He has just uh, 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 just touched that, and just by speaking with that political mood, in by the support of that political mood, he is speaking to Guru Dronacharya in a very small word, one word. He is speaking very in depth meaning. And he has just uh, manifested one kind of big wish in front of uh, Guru Dronacharya just by speaking one small word. And each and every deep meaning with a very uh, deep heart. Duryodhan uh, himself with full respect he is just speaking to front of Guru Dronacharya. And he just uh, come in front of Guru Dronacharya with, with deep respect, respectful mood. What is the actual mood of Duryodhan to go in front of Guru Dronacharya? So actual speciality is one, is that Duryodhan cannot uh, have this kind of thing inside his heart. When he has seen Bhimsen, when he has seen Arjun, 
then Krishna is in the form of chariot. Uh, he is uh, riding the chariot. His heart become very much uh, amazed and surprised, as if his heart is just got struck and get got a very big kick inside his heart. Definitely, he will become unstable because he is the actual parshad of adharma. He definitely, definitely you know that those who are on the side of adharma in the bhajan also, who are the parshads of adharma, who are on the part of adharma, then definitely some weakness is there. Externally, they have money power, political power, money power, educational power, they can do a lot of things. But inside his heart, there is one kind of fear that if I can go against this Maharaj, then definitely it, he is not at all uh, I have, I am wrong, I am cheater, he is not at all cheater. I have done lot of cheating. And if I will go uh, against him, then definitely some problem can go. Externally, he don't have power, but from where, which power can come to him. So, I can also get destroyed. So, that's why I will not speak in front of him. So, in the same way, Duryodhan also, this uh, just by coming in front of uh, Dronacharya, it actually signified that uh, five Pandavas, just by seeing the actual effect of all the uh, commanders and soldiers of the Pandava on the Pandava side, his heart is getting more and more fearful, more and he's become restless and become unstable just by seeing the Pandavas and his army. But still, on, in order to prove his own power, he has just went to Guru Dronacharya as if just to follow a manner, manners that uh, I am just going to follow my Gurudev and he has just came to Guru Dronacharya by himself and speaking to him because he is always kapat. All the time he actually have that fear inside his heart and in order to hide that fearfulness and unstableness that uh, that kind of uh, his intelligence is totally full of fear and now this kind of political uh, Rajniti polit- po- politics which is there inside the heart of Duryodhan just by speaking this word in front of Dronacharya, this is actually get signified all, already. This is not, introduct, introduction is not at all uh, required because you know Duryodhan, he, and he is the actually coming from the womb of Gandhari and is the son of Dhritarashtra. And I uh, will be just speaking, going more ahead and speaking that, uh, uh, and Dronacharya, you already know that he is the actual uh, Ashtasiksha Guru of Gaurav and Pandavas. He is the actual uh, Guru of both the Pandavas and Gauravs. And Dronacharya has just uh, came from Kalash. He, is, uh, uh, he has taken birth from uh, a picture. A lot of history is there behind that. From the birth of uh, Guru Dronacharya as well. Who has taken birth from picture. From what? And in Ashtavidya he is so much uh, contemporary and so much uh, educated. That all uh, Ved, Vedant, Puran, Punishit, everything is on his fingertips. Vyakaran is also the part of uh, Ashtasiddhi. Ayurved, Dhanurved, everything is there. So, in the Ashtavidya, he is actually topmost. And he is very much contemporary, having a full, uh, on the full, on his fingertips, everything is there. And in Ved Shastra, he don't know, it's not like that. He know, and Parshuram uh, of Maharaj, Parshuram Ji is the Sakta Vishabdana of Bhagwan. He is actually also making lot of, uh, he has got the Kripa of uh, Guru Dronacharya. That means that all kind of hidden and secret Ashtavidya, uh, weapons, weapons Vidya, Dhanur Vidya, all kind of different, different knowledge written in the Shastras he has taken from Guru Dronacharya. And Panchal Raj Drupad Raja, King Drupad, he has so much respect. Uh, before he has so much respect uh, in that at that region, but uh, that time, Drup- King Drupad uh, after some time has disrespected him. There is some reason I don't have this much time so that I can go more deep into the history. That uh, King Drupad has just uh, disrespected him, and he's speaking okay. That I am actually going away, and just he has just went to Hastinapur, and uh, there he Bhishma Pitamaha. He is very much clever. Okay, let us uh, make him serve so that he can become a teacher or professor. And uh, Pitama Bhishma just may give him the duty just by uh, you give Ashta Siksha to all, everyone. To Kauravas and Pandavas, he is, he is there at the uh, leadership path of both Kauravas and Pandavas as Guru Dronacharya. So, Lord, all the students which are there, Duryodhan is the most. Uh, uh, most close uh, close disciple of Guru Dronacharya and uh, Guru Dronacharya loves him a lot 
एंड किंग दुर्योधन एंड किंग दुर्योधन ही एंड किंग दुर्योधन जस्ट बाय द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ किंग दुर्योधन सो मच रिक्वेस्ट एंड सो मच रिस्पेक्ट ही इज गिवन टू गुरु द्रोणाचार्य एंड ही इज बाउंड टू दिस इज जस्ट द प्लेइंग ऑफ डेस्टिनी व्हाट टू डू ऑल एक्चुअली डन बाय कृष्णा दैट जट हाउ दुर्योधन हैज जस्ट पॉलिटिकली मैनिफेस्टेड हिज हैप हिज प्लेफुल मूड इन फ्रंट ऑफ गुरु द्रोणाचार्य and just by having full respect on to his disciple and uh, uh, he is there on the kurukshetra battlefield in the form of a commander and the first which are is that duryodhan is actually very political politically very clever and each and every fraction of second duryodhan has some kutinity or political mood that with that it is already showed that externally he is actually just respecting his guru but inside his heart he is actually very fearful and he is on the side of adharm so that's why his heart has just become shocked and some kick kicking was there inside his heart and he just want to respect and welcome his acharya on the battlefield and what he is actually going to speak in front of acharya that is very much important because each and every word what he is speaking from his mouth is everything political it is more poisonous than politic politics so much continuity and politics is there inside it what he wants to speak in front of guru dhan kya dekhe what i have seen dekhiye dekhiye that you see see kya dekhe what to see sultan pandu putranam acharyam acharyo mahati mahatim chamu ye dekhiye aapke saath that you see in front of you so much power and brave courage they have that you are actual guru of all these pandavas and in front of this so much uh, uh false ego they are having that uh, they are all the all these five pandas are your disciple that so much uh, bravery and false ego they have by this work we can understand you see his courage ha huh? you see his courage what they are doing in front of you you see how much uh, so much uh, with full strategy he is actually came in on in front of battlefield in front of you so this kind of strategy what they have they are having that this kind of strategy what the pandavas are having and drupad it's written here drupad putra he is actually son of drupad who is your actual disciple budam drupad putra na tava shishya na yaad hai aapko you can uh, you can uh, remember that you already told me guru that your own father has just disrespected Uh, that uh, and that so much disrespect he has given you can't remember that and that same that is actually kutniti this all politics that uh, gurudev that previous history that profit and loss he is actually just making remember his gurudev oh you see so much uh, false egos they are having that same father has just disrespected you in the whole sabha and now they are actually standing in front of you with false ego and now with this political mood he has actually just making his gurudev remember the past history so that so that inside the heart of guru dronojare that resolution can come that so much angry mood can come so that he can uh, just uh, inside his heart that bravery mood can come and he can just uh, kill all the five pandavas and he can just kill all the five pandavas guru dronojare so this is uh, the actual political mood of duryodhan towards guru dronojare In this has some special one speciality is there. Pasaitam bol ke aisa that pasaitam there is some word is there like very special words are there. And Duryodhan already knows that all the five pandavas it means that Yudhishthir Maharaj Bhim Arjun Sahadev Nakul all these five pandavas on them that they have so much uh, love very hidden sne many hidden uh, love uh, towards pandavas duryodhan already know and if this is love or sne it is going more and more up then definitely everything will go into sand no every nothing will stay definitely i will lose so this sneh towards pandavas it will go more and more elevated then definitely i am going to lose everything because he is at the title of an acharya and uh, this can also be there that he can just quit the uh, he can leave the battlefield oh they are all my child how i can kill them this kind of bhav can come 
in front of in uh, in the heart of guru dronacharya though like this uh, duryodhan is actually putting one kind of political mood in front of uh, guru dronacharya he is just playing uh, one kind of a game of chess in front of uh, guru dronacharya and he is making that game successful so that inside the heart of guru dronacharya that kind of so much bravery mood and political mood towards Uh, uh pandavas can uh, get ignited so that uh, that passionate mood can conception can come and he can beat those pandavas in the battlefield that you see all those five pandavas they are actually our disciples but you see how his father has just disrespected you you have so much ne on them you see so much actually have adversity they are having they are uh, uh, coming in front of you and want to fight with you ha huh? so much false ego ha huh? so much false bravery mood they are having so much Uh, false courage they are having ha huh? in front of uh, acharya they are coming so this actual actual the actual audacity you see how much audacity they are having oh my god he wants to explain to guru dhan acharya duryodhan and you are so much brave and you topmost mahaprakrashali that he had they have just uh, not at all uh, obeying your commands and they are making the strategy the of war and battle and this kind of uh, clever strategies they are making uh, just by standing in front of you they are just want to kill you now and now you can just remember the previous history that your previous king that kind of enmity with them you just need to think of that also that how he disrespected you in the whole sabha so that they have already uh, purvat raja have already just done one yagya for the actual death drupad raja king drupad has already done in order to kill you he has done one great yagya so that he can uh, kill you that definitely he has already uh, lost but in order to kill you he has already done yagya and in that yagya kund one kanya was uh, getting that that's name her drishta dumna Uh, one son was uh, getting out of the yagya kund and still you know you are so much straight forward that so innocent that so much innocent and straight forward and so br- much satya nishth you are so much saral and so innocent and so truthful you are that you know that this uh, this dumman will kill you that uh, that he is the actual son of your enemy but still you haven't this this dumna you are actually giving his dhanur vidya or kind of uh, instructions regarding dhanur vidya you have giving to drishtadumna ye log bada chatur hai they are actually very much clever you don't know aapka hi sam in front of you only they want to just kill you definitely they want to give this kind of sankal to kill you they he has already uh, taken all the dhanur uh, vidya from you only and just by taking the dhanur vidya he going to apply it on you only in reverse and he is actually having this kind of vichar that how to kill you so much clever you see duryodhan and now he wants to use this dhanur vidya in order to kill you and he has just came in opposite to you so all this vichar this is kutnati with this political vichar that uh, very uh, dusht duryodhan is actually making this kind of vichar in front of guru dronacharya that uh, he is actually making forth his gurudev that any how gurudev you need to either by sneha or some kind of emotional mood you just need to quit that and leave that against the pandavas and and if you will just be putting full sneha on to them then nothing will happen on the battlefield so it's my request you don't do any kind of upeksha upeksha means that definitely our anarth will uh, be made and we will definitely lose in the battlefield that is for sure so this vichar just by making it in front of guru dronacharya that very bad duryodhan that senapati gurudev his commander guru 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 dronacharya he is speaking to he has just came in front of guru dronacharya and speaking this following words to him and after that now actually he all he is not at he still is continue to speak he still is continuing speaking his uh, speech in front of guru dronacharya duryodhan पुरुजित कुंती भोजस्य सैग्वस्य नरपंगवा 
जुधा मनुष्य विक्रांतो उत्तम उयाश्चो बिरजवानो शोभद्रो द्रोपोदयाश्च सर्व एव महारथा that Duryodhan what he wants to speak here this kind of uh, introduction he is speaking to his Gurudev as if Gurudev is actually blind and Gurudev can't see anything that who is there who is not there that why what are you are actually why you are giving remembrance to your Gurudev so this is actually called politics that is called actual political mood what Duryodhan is showing one by one he is speaking to Gurudev that oh Gurudev that uh, so much of bravery and false ego they are having Huh? They are showing false, false bravery mode that big, big uh, commanders and uh, soldiers are there and they have just came in front of you. Came up front, in front of us, Bheem, Arjun, Veer, all these, Sati ki, Virat, Raja, Maharatha Dupas, Drupadasya, Maharatha Drupad, Dhrishto Ketu Mane, धृष्टो के तुम अन्य धृष्टो के तुम चकितान राजा का नाम है सब These are all the names of kings जवान काशी राजस्थो महावारु बलसाली All are actually brave राज्य brave काशी काशी राज It means राजाओं में सर्वश्रेष्ठ yeah, of all the uh, of, brave, of all the brave kings जुदामनु बिरजवान उत्तम Uttamavyaha Chau Shobhadra Mane Abhimannu Means That were all kind of All sons of Draupadi They all actually are Maharat They are very much brave and powerful And they are all Very powerful Inside them This Bhav is there That That Just by speaking all the names of the Commanders and soldiers, it is not at all speak directly that, oh, you have to uh, be very careful by fighting. It's not at all like that to speak in front of Gurudev like that. In order to give full respect to Gurudev, just by having this kind of uh, playing mood, playing and clever mood, he is actually speaking very respectfully to his Gurudev by speaking the name of each and every soldier and commander on the battlefield. So that what kind of prakram and qualities you are having with full force, you just need to um, fight with them so that they can be get killed in that. So it is very much important. Chamu Sanya Sangha, they have two seven hundred twenty nine elephants that having two seven twenty nine chariots and two thousand one hundred. Two thousand one hundred eighty-seven. Asha means or oh, horses, and three thousand six hundred forty-five. Three thousand six hundred forty-five are when all the uh, all this army is actually collected. This is called one dal. Dal means Dhritajnaman is the actual ki, uh, son of uh, King Drupad, and uh, Drupad is the daughter of that King Drupad. Both of them has just came from the Yagya Kund. One Draupadi, then Draupadi Maharani, and the other one Drishtadum. Drishtadum, I have already told you that he is in front of Dronacharya. He has learned all the Ashta, Ashta Shastra, uh, and he is the only reason who has killed Dronacharya. That is Guru Mara with the Guru Dev just by laughing, he is speaking that they are thinking lot they are uh, uh, getting lot of vidya regarding in order to kill their guru this is guru mara guru mara vidya they have taken from gurudev and they will be just using it on gurudev to kill gurudev they are just like drishtadumna so that's drishtadumna has killed guru dronacharya so dwarkavasi satriki is there that in front of arjun has taken the actual instructions of uh, this is from Mahabharat. Everything is taken from Mahabharat. What I am telling you. Virat Raj Matsaraj. Virat Raj Pandavas. When they were at Agyat Vyas for, uh, for Vanvas, they have just stayed at Matsaraj. Virat Raj. At, that, at their place they stayed. 
for one year they stayed there at Matsharaj and Pandavas this kind of behavioral mood because of that he has said he has that behavioral very nice mood and nice relationship with Virat Raj that because Uttara got married with uh, uh, Arjun Abhimanyu and he's the and also the sons of Draupadi are also related to him that's why he has very close relationship that uh, Kunti Devi's father also uh, brother is also there and Arjun uh, son Abhimanyu is also there and Subhadra Devi is he has taken uh, from the womb of Subhadra ji he has taken uh, birth and Satyarati seven big Maharathis just by their own will in order to just uh, they just want to kill they already kill them by uh, by misusing by uh, foul means they have killed Ashwatthama had Dronacharya Ashwatthama Klibi the son of Klibi Kripacharya also he is spoken uh, the name, other name of Dronacharya and the, the wife of Kripacharya his son Atvashwatthama just like uh, after uh, birth he has just uh, spoken like a horse so that's why his name is Ashwatthama and he has one money on his head in between his ears one money is there that Shantanu Sputra Ganga I don't have this much time to speak more and more he has just got Ichamitru and on the bed of arrows he has just stayed for 10 days and he is one of the 12 Mahajans Vishnu Pitama and in, on the bed of arrows just by staying there for 10 days when Krishna along with five Pandavas and all the Rishis they have just went he has given topmost absolute knowledge to Yudhishthira Maharaj and uh, the other four Pandavas and Karan you already know he is the actual son of Kunti Devi he is the Kanani Putra means without before marriage that is the son just by the grip of Surya Narayan he is getting birth Parshuram also near Parshuram he has just got Asht, Ashtasiddhi he is actually very much uh, brave and courage full, full of courage, uh, soldier and he has got one uh, uh, kundal and a kavach from Surya Narayan as well. So it is very much difficult to uh, kill him. Then when you are going to Delhi while uh, going to Vrindavan, on the left side there is one Surya Kund is there. This is not the Surya Kund of our Vrindavan. They are actually at the, near the Kund. He has just made lot of uh, austerities and penances, Karan Maharaj at that bank of Surya Kund. So whatever the case is and An- Ananjay, you already know that is the name of Arjun Shikhandi that the King Drupad King Drupad that Shikhandi name that kind of uh, woman which came so lot of uh, stories there behind that lot big, big history is there it will take lot of time in the previous uh, birth Amba the, the, that the name is Amba that Shikhandi definitely some work is there that then Ananjay out of the 10 names of Arjun Parth Ananjay this is all the names of Arjun Parth this definitely Pritha Dev Vasudev Supatni Pritha Devi that from Pritha that that Kunti Devi the actual son of Kunti Devi this is that's why Parth word is used for Arjun that's why it is used Parth in some places you can see. Now you can see, slowly, steadily, he is speaking that Dhrishtaketu, all these warriors, one by one, they are coming. He is actually speaking each and every name of the soldiers and commanders. This is nothing. There is one kind of, all names are there, list of names that they have already there on the battlefield and Srila Bhakti Muthakur speaking and of all the commanders and soldiers that Mahadhanudar Bhim Arjun and uh, that so much uh, uh, big big warriors and brave and courageous warriors are there on the battlefield and very brave Junami. 
Abhimannu, Draupadi ka paanch putra. Their Draupadi's five sons are also there. Each and every one, they are on the battlefield, uh, standing there to fight. They all are actually on the battlefield in order to just sacrifice their life. They just want to sacrifice their life, has just went to fight with them. In anyhow, just by fighting, they have to ta- have to establish dharma because they are on the side of dharma. So they need to manifest dharma again. We you already know that at the starting of the war, at the battle, every each and every uh, kind of uh, thing uh, and uh, each and every kind of uh, thing uh, Krishna has done so that war or battle should not take place. Duryodhan, up till this point also he has spoken that this is one idol that so much uh, dust particle come still I won't give uh, to you without any war okay if it's your will then definitely war will commence definitely and at the last time uh, with the full commitment that so that war can get stopped but it cannot be stopped because definitely war is very much important war already started and uh, in that uh, battlefield you already know that that this is actually dharma dharma yudh why it is called dharma yudh because his big brother whatever in any kind of uh, any kind of in any kind of uh, kingship uh, if the big brother is available then the small brother won't get the kingship if the big brother is there so that's why big brother will get the kingship first rather than the small brother or whether he is handicapped or blind or something then in that case that the that big brother uh, the actual power will get transferred to the small uh, to the panduraj pandavas that uh, king bl- uh, bl- uh, un- blind uh, the is actually blind but still pandu has the actual right to get onto the throne but definitely pandu has the adhikar but pandu Pandu Maharaj he is actually killed is some reason is there I don't have the time because he has already left his body Pandu King Pandu and after that uh, Kunt, along with Kunti all the five uh, uh, children he has taken and given lot of tapasya and Australian penances and where to go and that blind that is very much uh, foolish and he is very much clever and inside his heart also from his heart also he is blind and he is actually he is doing all kind of mischievous activities and Duryodhan what he is speaking that he is doing that and he is approving that. So he that's why Adharma is got established and slowly steadily at the last time also just by doing Adharma uh, he is actually getting established in the Adharma, Adharma and he will just get destroyed by Adharma. All these all day without war they are speaking that, that we won't give even a needle of sand to you, needle of uh, Bhumi to you. So this kind of vichar, Duryodhan without any war, he don't want to give anything to the Pandavas. That's why the war got started. And you also already know that at the time of battle of the war, Bhagavan Shri Krishna speaking, you have to see that you both are actually very lovable to me, Duryodhan and Arjun, before starting of the war. And uh, tomorrow morning you can both come to me when I will be taking rest and after getting off the rest. I'll, when I will be opening my eyes and see first who actually will ask me something and definitely I will give him first. I have 18 Akshahini uh, commanders and if someone can get that or else I he will take me in the battlefield. So out of these two things who will come to me first I will uh, definitely bestow uh, that kind of thing and he has the actual eligibility to ask something from me. So I will bestow whatever he lasts. So in the morning Duryodhan what he has done that uh, first before Arjun only he just uh, came and in front of the head he just came because he has lot of false ego. No? And uh, at the lotus feet of uh, uh, Bhagwan Arjun is, uh, was standing. Or oh, when we, you just tell me when if you will when you will uh, when you will get uh, off from the bed. Uh, who you gonna see first? First on the head, the person standing, or uh, the person standing at your lotus feet? So Arjun is actually standing and I uh, speaking. Arjun, uh, Duryodhan speaking. No, I came first. Okay, 
I actually have seen Arjun first. So okay, whatever be the reason, what you want to ask me, tell me. What you want to ask me? That your 18 Akshayani uh, Sena, that you give it to me. That Arjun, what you want? That uh, I, I already came first. Okay, I have. Definitely, I will also ask one thing that I need you. Duryodhan started laughing. Okay, you just take Krishna alone. I will take 18, uh, uh, 18 Akshayani Seva with me. So by this which are Duryodhan taking all the commanders and soldiers from Dwarka. So much uh, uh, battalion I having. What can be done? But inside his heart some fearful is there because he is on the side of Adharm. That's why some fear will be there inside his heart. Unknown fear will definitely be there who is actually following the Adharmic pathway. So that's why it is there in the heart of Duryodhan. So whatever be the case. So he has no solution for that. And all the the, all the destruction of the Sena and in order to just uh, you see his audacity that Gurudev he is speaking to Guru Dronacharya that uh, my, our, uh, our commanders and soldiers our battalions and, and team what is there inside that that all Pradhan Pradhan are that uh, in order to tell you for your kind information I will tell you Duryodhan speaking. By what is the actual technique? By speaking Dvijatamo. There Gurudev actually speaking Dvijatamo. No? Definitely some Rajaniti is also there in that. Why actually speaking Dvijatamo? He actually wants to speak that that you have already taken a vow that uh, under my kingship that uh, all this Kuru Vansh we have to get victory over Pandavas that Brahman are not at all going away from their Pratigya what they have taken already so in order to just remember you this thing each and every word what he is speaking is full, full of uh, the each and every politics is there and s- secret hidden political mood is there he is speaking word, each and every word, some kind of uh, bad smell of political mood is there. That I want to speak in front of you. That on this wish I am actually speaking to you. That now if uh, in order to know this, that who is actually called Maharat, this information I have. That from Maharat, very scientific explanation I can give. That Ekaki alone, that 10,000 Dhanudhar soldiers, if who alone you can do the uh, war. And in the Ashta Shastra also, this is already written. That is called Maharat, who can alone, can, uh, alone can, with infinity soldiers he can uh, fight. That infinity soldiers he can fight. On the battlefield, he is called Athirat. And those uh, soldiers alone can fight. With uh, one on one, he is just uh, facing that is called Rathi. Just with one warrior, he is actually uh, uh, fighting that is called Rathi. Rathi. And uh, before, more weak than that, that is called Adharat. It means Ardharati. That is for your kind information. I definitely have to speak in front of you. So definitely some speciality is there. Why actually it is important? Gurudev is in front of that all. He is actually Pandit, his Gurudev, Guru Dhanaja and so much brave and courageous soldier is there. Why actually you are speaking this? So this is a special political uh, cleverness or political... Uh, uh, mood which he is pred, uh, predicting in front of Guru Dronacharya and I just want to speak for your information kind information I am actually speaking that what do you, why you actually want to speak in front of Guru Dronacharya he already knows everything so it is one kind of political mood what he wants to show that Duryodhan first was actually thinking this which are was there that 18 Akshayani battalions have already taken that who can uh, fight with me now I am so I am I am that's it so and after that when he came on the battlefield 
in front of uh, Pandavas when he saw the battalions of Pandavas then uh, Duryodhan just came into fearful thinking that what to do now Duryodhan just started thinking and become fearful and this which are is there for Duryodhan that some weakness was definitely there inside the heart of Gurudev that some kind of uh, weakness already came in the heart of Gurudev also so because he is also standing in front and all those soldiers and uh, every standing there so that's why i will just go in front of you him and just uh, in order to just uh, remove his fearful fearful mood i will go and speak to him so this is one kind of audacity what he is trishtata audacity false ego so much false uh, bravery he is there inside him that inside his heart whatever kind of uh, in order to uh, hide his own fearful bhav all kind of uh, soldiers and brave brave soldiers is speaking the name in front of him just to hide his fearful mood it means that you don't think more that what you are seeing that you are seeing that all those panch pandavas all big big uh, vidwan and intelligent uh, soldiers are there but they are our soldiers are not at all uh, less on we are actually education power uh, battalion power are very much high you don't worry that is infinity sena we are having what is the actual uh, uh, problem and why we need to worry so he is actually speaking like this and this duryodhan actually very big continuity of duryodhan that kind of sneh which are definitely for pandavas also so in order to remove that and whether he will fight or not or in between inside some weakness of heart can come so he will not fight so in front of him i will be just giving him some backing so that some positive input i can give to him and gurudev can have that kind of his, his uh, uh, bravery can increase that i have already told you by speaking dwijatam because inside heart of duryodhan that kind of uh, uh, doubt arised that from birth that that uh, panch pandavas are dharmic and bhagwan parat par akhileshwar shri krishna he is actually dharma mulam hi vishnu means the actual mool actual purport conclusion of all dharm is actually vishnu and who are actually on the part of vishnu so something can be done to them no not at all and uh, guru ji ka guru dev inside the heart of guru some weakness came and some sneh on the part of uh, pandav can come then war will become incomplete and he will just uh, leave the battlefield we cannot speak anything also so he can leave the battlefield as well so this kind of all uh, doubts and suspicion he is actually taking inside his heart and with a very clever mood he just came in front of dronacharya speaking all this and up till this shlok i will be just finishing now because this vichar you just need to set up slowly steadily you will have to digest all this siddhant and you have to we have to move forward and duryodhan actually speaking now karnascho kripascho samadinjay asattama vikarnascho somadattir jayadartha anne cha bahavah sura मदर्थे तक्त जीवित नाना शस्त्र प्रहारणा सर्वे युद्ध विशारद इसमें साफ है इन दिस डेफिनेट इट्स क्लियर द मीनिंग एक्चुअली मीनिंग इज एक्चुअली टोटली क्लियर भगवान दैट यू आर एक्चुअली भगवान इन भगवान मींस दैट वेरी रिस्पेक्टफुल वर्ड इन संस्कृत lot of respect is one kind of title वेरी रिस्पेक्टफुल टाइटल इज गिवन इन संस्कृत भगवान विद फुल रिस्पेक्ट यू आर भगवान भगवान विष्णु चाहत जो दैट यू आर भीष्म and karn is also there you are already there guru dronacharya bhishma karn is there kripascha kripascha ha samadin jo asatthama asatthama is there ano kripascha kitma ano vishnu karn samadin jo samar vijayi samadin jo asatthama vikarnascha जयद्रथ इज ऑल्सो देयर विद सो यू डोंट गेट अफ्रेड 
वी आर ऑल्सो वेरी ब्रेव एंड पावरफुल वी आर नॉट एट ऑल लेस देन एनी वन वी आर एक्चुअली मोर एंड मोर पावरफुल द्रोणाचार्य ही स्पीकिंग टू हिमसेल्फ एंड भीष्मेव कर्ण कृपा दैट जय दरथ दैट द एक्चुअल वाइफ ऑफ द्रोणाचार्य दिस कृपा हिज ब्रदर अश्वत्थामा इज देयर हिज सन द सन ऑफ द्रोणाचार्य वी कर्ण एवरी वन इज देयर ऑन द बैटल फील्ड ऑल दीज आर द नेम्स ऑन द वी आर ऑल एक्चुअली वेरी पावरफुल इन द अष्ट शास्त्र एंड दे आर वेरी मच कंप्लीट एंड पावरफुल यू डोंट वरी वी आर ऑल्सो वेरी पावरफुल By speaking this, in front of Guru Dev, he is actually speaking this. As if Guru Dev, he is actually increasing his bravery and uh, decreasing his fearful bhav from inside. And like this, he is actually speaking to Guru Dev that we are also not less; we are more powerful. By this, Duryodhan speaking to Guru Dev. So this, which are whatever is there, now. Up till this point, we just need to give rest today. वांचा कल्पतरोष्य की पासिंदु व्यवच्छपतिदानं पावने भो वैष्णवे भ्यो नमो नमः